Have you ever felt a twinge in your shoulder or a little unsafe when you're holding these focus pads? I'm going to talk a little bit today about preventing shoulder injuries. My name is Patrick Moore, I'm the creator of Box Out, and I've got here my good friend, very experienced boxing trainer, martial artist, and qualified and practicing physiotherapist here in Sydney, Australia, Philip Ting, to talk a little bit about the shoulder, the risk of the shoulder injury when holding focus mitts, focus pads. Philip, what's the main risk for pad holders? The main risk for pad holders is actually holding the pads too wide. If you hold the pads too wide, you're placing your shoulder in a really unstable position and you're risking a rotator cuff injury. Is this too wide? That's too wide, that's a lot too wide. To overcome that, what you need to do is bring your elbows in close to your body, pads close together so it's almost like a peekaboo. No chicken wings. No chicken wings. No chicken wings. Awesome. Keep the elbows down. What's the risk, what's the actual technical risk? The rotator cuff are the small muscles that keep your joints stable, the shoulder joints stable. If you tear them and require surgery, it can be up to 12 months to recover from that. We don't want that. Next tip I might share is from many years of teaching classes, one of the most obvious and simple things to remember is only accept the punch when you're ready. You say in boxing the most dangerous punch is the one you don't see coming. So if I'm here and I'm looking here and Philip throws a punch, suddenly I haven't braced for the punch and my joint is, my shoulder joint is long. It's not solid, it's not stable. So make sure you're ready. Either have them up or have them down and make sure as a pad holder you're the one in charge. And the final thing to remember is a really handy thing you know, we've used many times teaching classes is the slow motion principle. Remember that Ricky Hatton, some people might remember him as a famous English boxer. He apparently used to generate a thousand pounds or 400 kilos of instantaneous force on one of those punch measuring machines. Now mere mortals might only be 10% of that, but it's still a reasonably solid punch that you're catching in the pad. So slow it down is the, is the idea. So if I'm holding for the hook, Bam, nice and slow, uppercut, get the combination right, back to the hook, and then we can speed it up. So hook, cross hook, boom, boom, boom. Once I've learned the technique, he's got the technique, and we've got the little dance ready to go. I hope those tips help. Thank you, Philip, for coming in and helping me with this. If you need any other tips, please just follow the links, and I hope that helps you. See you next time.